Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, I will discuss two data structures, stack and queue. Stacks and queues are considered logical, conceptual, or abstract data structures because they organize and access data using specific rules. Their operations and efficiency are more about these rules than where the data is physically stored in the computer. Stack. A stack data structure uses the LIFO, lost in, first out principle. Imagine a stack like a stack of plates. Here's how it works. Lost in, first out. LIFO. The last item you put on the stack is the first one you take off. Just like when you put a new plate on top of a pile, it's the first one you'd pick up. There are three basic stack operations, push, pop, and peek. Adding an item to a stack is called a push. It's like putting a new plate on top of a stack of plates. Removing an item from a stack is called a pop. It's like taking the top plate off the stack. You always take off the last plate you put on. Peak is an operation to read the top item of the stack. Time, complexity, push operation, adding an item. The time complexity is 01, which means it takes a constant time to add an item regardless of the stack size. It is quite consistently efficient because the item is always added at the top of the stack. Pop operation, removing an item. Similarly, the time complexity is 01 for removing an item, as it involves removing the top item, which is a constant time operation. Peak operation, viewing the top item. Looking at the top item of the stack also has a time complexity of 01, since it doesn't require traversing the stack. Space efficiency. A stack can be implemented using an array or a linked list which have different space efficiency. An array-based stack has a fixed size and allocates a contiguous block of memory for storing the elements. The space efficiency of an array-based stack is ON, where N is the number of elements in the stack. This means that the space used by the stack is proportional to the number of elements. A linked list-based stack has a variable size and allocates memory for each element separately. The space efficiency of a linked list-based stack is also ON, but it requires extra space for storing the pointers to the next element. This means that the space used by the stack is more than the number of elements. Simplicity and predictability. Stacks are straightforward and predictable in their functionality. This makes them easy to implement and use in various applications, such as parsing expressions, backtracking algorithms, and function call management in programming languages. Stack drawbacks. One, limited access. Stacks do not allow for random access to elements. You can only access the top element directly. This limitation means stacks are not suitable for scenarios where you need to access or search for elements scattered throughout the data structure. Two, risk of overflow. In a fixed size stack implementation like array-based stack, there's a risk of stack overflow if the number of elements exceeds the capacity of the stack. Stacks are highly efficient for scenarios where the last in first out principle is suitable, offering fast and predictable operations for adding and removing elements. Stack applications. Overall, stacks are widely used in real-time applications because of their ability to efficiently handle last in first out operations and their simplicity of implementation. Here are three examples. One, the undo redo function in many computer applications where the last action you did 
is the first one undone. 2. Used to implement a backtracking algorithm, a problem-solving method used in computer science to find solutions to problems by trying out different possibilities, and if they don't work, going back, backtracking, and trying other options. It's like a trial and error method, but more systematic. 3. Used by web browsers to manage web pages forward and backward navigation. Q. A Q is a logical data structure that follows the first in first out FIFO principle. It means that the element added to the queue is also removed first from the queue. A queue can be imagined as a line of people waiting for something where the person who arrives first is served first. A queue can be implemented using different physical data structures such as arrays, linked lists, or other data structures. The basic operations of a queue are on queue, add an element to the rear of the queue, DQ, remove an element from the front of the queue, peak, get the value of the front element without removing it. Now, let me talk about the efficiency of queue in terms of time complexity and space efficiency. Time complexity, on queue operation, adding an item. This is the operation of adding an item to the back of the queue. The time complexity is 01, which means it takes a constant amount of time regardless of the size of the queue. DQ operation, removing an item. This involves removing an item from the front of the queue. Similar to on queue, the time complexity is 01 because the operation does not depend on the size of the queue. Peak operation, viewing the front item. Checking the item at the front of the queue also has a time complexity of 01. This operation is constantly efficient because the front item is easily accessible. Space efficiency. The space efficiency of a queue depends on how it is implemented. There are two common ways to implement a queue, using an array or using a linked list. Using an array. An array is a fixed size collection of elements of the same type. To implement a queue using an array, we need to keep track of the front and rear indices of the queue. The space complexity of a queue using an array is ON, where N is the maximum size of the queue. Using a linked list. A linked list is a dynamic collection of nodes where each node contains some data and a pointer to the next node. To implement a queue using a linked list, we need to maintain a pointer to the front and rear nodes of the queue. The space complexity of a queue using a linked list is ON, where N is the number of elements in the queue. Queue drawbacks. Random access. Queues do not provide easy access to elements in the middle of the structure. You have to dequeue items one by one until you reach the desired item. Fixed size queues. In the case of array-based implementations, queues might have a fixed size, which can lead to either wasted space if the queue size is overestimated or the need for resizing if the queue size is underestimated. Overall, queues are efficient for scenarios where you need to process items in the order they come in. The constant time operations for adding and removing items make them suitable for a wide range of applications, especially where maintaining order is crucial. Here are some applications using queue. Task scheduling and management in operating systems, printing jobs, management, network packet buffers in computer networks, web server requests, management. In summary, both stacks and queues are fundamental data structures in computer science, each with its unique way of handling data, stacks using LIFO and queues using FIFO. 
they are efficient with their operations and are chosen based on the specific requirements of the task at hand, such as the need to maintain order or access the most recently added item. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.